Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by with Call of Duty Next today. We've finally got a full on reveal for the Black Ops 6 Warzone integration or BO6 Warzone. And with it, we got new gameplay of the Area 99 map, our first look at Omni movements and other Black Ops features in Warzone. And today we are breaking it all down. So first bit of breaking news when it comes to the Black Ops 6 Warzone integration for the first time ever, Warzone is actually getting its very own mastery camo grind. I absolutely am so stoked for this to see how they go about doing this. But with this, just like in multiplayer and zombies, there's going to be four camos you can go through as a part of this mastery camo grind and unlock. So the first one is going to be Gold Tiger. The second one is going to be King's Ransom. The third one is going to be known as Catalyst. And then the fourth one is known as Abyss. Obviously, this camo grind, I imagine, is going to be decently difficult considering Warzone. Obviously, you don't always get your guaranteed weapons, so progress for it could be a little bit uh, tough to track at times. Like I said, very interested in seeing the full grind, all the challenges, everything associated with this, but Warzone is officially getting its own camos. Now, getting into some full-on gameplay details, gameplay footage, all the reveals from the Warzone segment of Next. Initially, we ended up getting a full breakdown of our brand new Resurgence map, known as Area 99. So obviously, this being a resurgence map, it is a smaller map in general. They said it's roughly the size of Rebirth or similar to size in that. And the lore of this map is actually kind of cool in my opinion. If you care about this stuff, it's basically the development and the history of Nuketown. So all the various different points of interest that we have for this are all based around Nuketown and the manufacturing. So creating the buildings, the mannequins, everything like that. In fact, one of the Nuketown buildings is actually suspended from a crane in the middle of the air. So like it's got a lot of lore it's got a lot of story behind it in and of itself there are 10 total points of interest on this map we've got test site the mannequin assembly the cooling towers the bunker the reactor nuketown shipping the pods basic manufacturing the warehouse and the loading bay in and of itself i won't lie the map like from the top down you're flying in you're landing in it doesn't seem super colorful or super vibrant it's very like brown and yellowish but the pois themselves do have a bit more personality a bit more color to them the overall color palette i don't think is all that crazy though so that's kind of like my one negative takeaway from the general overview of the map as mentioned though it is pretty similar in size to rebirth as they said so uh it's a treyarch resurgence map we've kind of come to expect certain things from their style of maps and it honestly does remind me a lot of rebirth just from the gameplay that we're getting into here various different pois mostly via espresso so his channel will be linked down in the description below but all the gameplay that we are seeing of this warzone integration with black ops 6 is in alpha so come season one when the black ops 6 integration takes place we are going to have probably many noticeable changes when the full version of the game is out and it's no longer in an alpha state so you know take things with a grain of salt things will change some things won't that's just the state of development it's an alpha now certain things will evolve certain things will improve some things ultimately will stay the same one particular thing that stood out for me right away is the new ui it's not drastically different you still got your names in the bottom left your health bar your plates everything like that your money so on and so forth there is a slight new font to it maybe a little different here on some of the colors but the rest of the ui actually looks quite a bit different from your streaks to the bottom right with your ammo and your munitions or whatever your field upgrade and stuff is all of that's looking a bit different you'll also notice that when you're holding a weapon there is now a definitive rarity of said weapon and it also sort of coincides with the weapons on the ground as well with the loot that you're able to find across the world if you run across a legendary sniper it'll be gold on the ground or it'll be like orange on the ground right if you run into an epic or purple rarity option it'll be purple on the ground so you have that distinction right in front of your eyes it's super easy to see super easy to break down right away so honestly i'm liking the ui updates so far they're not super substantial super significant but from what we've seen so far they do seem pretty clean and i'm a fan of them so far uh speaking of loot on the ground this is another thing that actually stood out to me right away when i was looking at gameplay the loot doesn't seem to float now i know right away that was something that you wanted it's something that i wanted we all want floating loot back from warzone 1 it's so much easier to navigate pick things up directly you're not going to just fumble your guns back and forth trying to pick up you know a self revive or something on the ground what I did notice though is that the loot does not seem super flat on the ground like it actually does uh stand up a little bit and separates out in a way that it didn't seem like it was super cluttered or super messy when you were going through trying to uh you know loot quickly or loot in a pile of you know 
all sorts of stuff whether it's ammo weapons uh self streaks whatever it might be so it's almost like a hybrid of flat loot similar to like what we have now within warzone and then floating loot from warzone one i'm curious to see how we are able to evolve or interacting with that over the course of time but for now it doesn't seem too clunky but also still does not seem nearly as smooth as floating loot from back in the day and by the way, as we are going through all the Warzone gameplay, all the updates here, of course, I'm going to be keeping you guys in the know for all the major details, all the need to know info for this Warzone Black Ops 6 integration and all other Black Ops 6 and Call of Duty related news and updates we're going to see over the next coming days, weeks and months. So if you want to guarantee you're up to date with all of it, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. And if you enjoyed this video, you're excited for BO6 Warzone, a like rating is always seriously appreciated. Moving on to some of the other new gameplay details and gameplay features that were revealed here. Obviously, Omni Movement is fully coming to Warzone. We've had this confirmed for some time, but now we actually get a full on look of it. So yes, you can strafe in any direction, dive in any direction, prone in any direction. So it is the same thing that we've got going on with Black Ops 6 and all the Omni Movement there. Yes, it is fully in Warzone. We have that 100% confirmed already, like I said, but now we have actual visual of what's going on. They have gone through and fully removed the backpack system as well though so much more so like the original warzone where there was not a backpack you just had a simple inventory that's now back so this is very much so mimicking warzone one gameplay in a lot of ways there are some differences though like for instance tax sprint right now is currently only accessible but it is permanent when you are holding your dedicated melee slot or your knife so if you're looking for the absolute fastest tax sprint speed you have to have your knife out as a trade-off to if you're using your weapon your rifle or your sniper or your smg in your hands you're not going to have that full-on tax sprint you obviously can go through and build out your weapon though to be faster with mobility and get a faster sprint speed but tax sprint right now is when you're holding your knife out I don't really know how to feel about that in my mind because obviously I unfortunately have not played it yet but even just based off the gameplay footage you can understand enough it doesn't seem to be the smoothest flowing in terms of when you're trying to force that movement so I'm curious to see if that does evolve over the course of time. We also got some new details on the revamped perk system coming with Black Ops 6 Warzone. Raven actually details this by saying, the classic pick three perk system is coming to Warzone. We've simplified the perk selection system and revised them across the board. Players will find familiar effects alongside combined ones and all new ones. So for instance, we have perks like Scavenger, Grenadier, Reflexes, Veteran, Dexterity, Sprinter, Bomb Squad, Cold-Blooded, Gung-Ho, Ghost, Bird's Eye, Tempered, so on and so forth. They also say in addition to the three selected loadout perks, players will find up to an additional eight perks while looting in Warzone, two of which are exclusively found in loot. So yes, lootable perks are coming back in Black Ops 6 Warzone, something I really was bummed about when they didn't return within Warzone 2. So very happy to see Warzone uh, is bringing back lootable perks. And then Raven does say, we're updating and even combining existing perks. Grenadier is now a combination of Combat Scout and Tracker. Sprinter is a combination of Double Time and Escapist. Detailed changes are coming in future patch notes. There's also another inventory change coming. Raven says, alongside our revamped Warzone, Warzone inventory, we've created armor and munition satchels to expand the amount of armor and ammo you can carry respectively. Pick up one of each to give yourself a fighting advantage during engagements. So obviously you're just able to carry more armor or more ammo there. So kind of a neat change with that. They did also confirm with the launch of season one, we are going to have Battle Royale ranked return on Urzik stand. So for those looking for Battle Royale ranked as opposed to Resurgence ranked, we finally have a date for that. Oh, and just a nice little subtle tease that they dropped. Verdansk officially is coming back in spring of 2025. I don't know if they're going to aim for like an anniversary update with that or what, but it is now official. We don't have to speculate. There's no more rumors. Verdansk is coming back. Call of Duty has also described a lot of the quality of life updates coming to Warzone as basic fluidity updates. So it's going to be smoother to go through and uh, navigate with the world, with the environment. It's going to be more seamless. Now, some of these fluidity updates include some things that we've already talked about. For instance, the weapon rarity outlines. But Charlie Intel is also reporting you can pick up a self-revive while in a downed state, which is really cool. Downed enemies no longer trigger high alert. So if you're in a group of downed players, but you know someone on the squad is still alive, you're no longer going to get those fake high alert 
heart pangs from a downed player staring at you. The bounty threat actually has a level sound cue now. There's reduced in-game splashes. So on your screen, it's not going to be nearly as noisy with notification here, notification there, notification there. Another W in my opinion. Minimize the loot cards when you're actually looking at the loot. Medicine cabinets uh, have actually gotten loot drop improvements, so they'll be a little bit more valuable. The live ping duration has been reduced and pinging loot now triggers a navigation ping instead. So some slight quality of life updates here to, again, like I said, just sort of simplify things and keep things a bit more seamless. Uh, and then also we're going to see some more annoying elements of Warzone. It's subjective annoying, but it's still annoying, I think, to the broad community. Things like the Guardian and the Mosquito Drone are actually being removed with the Black Ops 6 Warzone integration. So while yes, we're still going to have all of our MW2 weapons, MW3 weapons, and Black Ops 6 weapons when the integration takes place, no more things like Guardians and Mosquitoes. So some quality of life updates to actually take things out and simplify some gameplay here and there. So yeah, with all that being said, that's going to wrap things up for this one. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating really does help grow the channel. And of course, if you're new here, you want to guarantee you are always up to date with everything going on in COD. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you later. Peace out.